tutorial, I'll show you how to make this adorable body jewelry perfect for all of your festival wear outfits. For this project, you'll need two different types of jewelry chain, an infinity charm that you can attach at both the top and the bottom of the charm, some jewelry pliers with cutters, a lobster clasp, and both large and small jump rings. Begin by measuring a length of your chain around your neck to the point where you want your charm to sit on your chest. Go ahead and cut it and then open up a small jump ring and attach a lobster clasp to one end of that length of chain. Then open up a large jump ring and attach that to the opposite end of that same length of chain. Before you close that one up, attach another large jump ring and you'll have something that looks like this. Then find the very center of your necklace opposite of your clasp and use a small jump ring to attach the top of your infinity charm onto your necklace at that exact point. You'll want to make sure it's dead center on the necklace, otherwise the necklace won't lay right. Then use your pliers to pinch that shut, making sure there's no gap. And you'll want to take note that you're actually putting it through one of the links on your necklace, not just around your necklace. Otherwise, everything will slide around and your necklace will get tangled and it just won't work. Once you've attached that, take another length of that same type of chain and measure from the bottom of the charm, draping it to your waist, then up the center of your back and to the point where your clasp sits on your neck. Once you're happy with that measurement, go ahead and cut that length and then cut a second length of that same type of chain to that exact same length so that you'll have one for the left side and one for the right side. You'll want to be absolutely sure that these are both the same length, otherwise they'll lay a little bit funny and it won't look quite right. Then take a length of your new type of chain and using the two chains that you just cut out of your original type of chain, measure that new length of that new type of chain to be about an inch and a half shorter than your originals. And you'll want to make sure once again that these are exactly the same length as each other because you're making one length for the left side and one length for the right side. So now you have two pieces of your original chain, two pieces of your new chain that are slightly shorter. So take that original chain again and measure another piece of your new type of chain. This time make it an inch and a half longer than your originals. So you have two originals, two that are an inch and a half shorter in a new type of chain, and two more in that new type that are an inch and a half longer. Then take a large jump ring and attach it to the bottom of your infinity charm and begin attaching one end of each of your short lengths of chain. You'll do one on one side of the charm and then one on the other side of the charm. Then take an end of each of your medium length chains, put one on one side of the charm and another on the opposite side of the charm once again. Then take your last lengths of your shortest lengths of chain and attach one on one side of the charm and another on the other side. So when you finish, you should have three chains, then the charm, then three more chains. And then close that up with your pliers, making sure you don't leave any gaps, otherwise your chains can fall off. Once you've closed that up, open up a small jump ring and attach that to the ends of all of the chains on the right side of your necklace, starting with the longest, then the medium, and then the shortest one. Once you've gotten all of those ends together, attach that to the jump ring that's holding your end jump ring on your original necklace piece. This is not the jump ring that you're attaching the lobster clasp to, but the one on the other side. Then pinch it shut, then repeat those same steps with the three chains on the left side of your necklace, and use that jump ring to attach it to the jump ring that's holding your lobster clasp onto your necklace. So you should have three chains attaching to the right side of your necklace and three to the left. To put it on, simply drape the three chains over your wrists and then hold the necklace in your hands and unclasp it and put it on the same way you would any other necklace. Just make sure you have three chains on the left side, three chains on the right, and then your necklace hanging in front. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my channel for other fun DIY projects.